Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakar Kardash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. And I say shalom to y'all out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson, you know, even though I'm outside today uh, on this uh, May the 18th, 2022, on this uh, Wednesday morning at 11.39 a.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, this is a news article in the news for today on this May 18th, 2022, Wednesday at I mean, Wednesday morning, Salaki, I meant to say. And the highlight of this news article, and it reads, uh, U.S. issues dire warning for global economic. Uh, the world is facing a potential slowdown, amending rising inflation. Uh, Janet Yen says, U.S. Treasury Secretary uh, Janet Yen Yet Yellen, I meant to say, if I pronounce the word, said on Wednesday that higher food and higher, I mean, uh, higher food and energy prices were having a stag flat missionary effects, namely depressing output and spending and raising inflation all around the world. She told reporters ahead of a meeting of G7 uh, financial ministry ministers in Bonn, Germany, that she does not see the U.S. going into recession. It says, I don't know how the way things are looking now with the gas prices going up, the uh, food prices, the uh, increase of uh, uh taxes and everything like that and we might be heading to that uh, approach it says um, continuing on with the news article we have inflation obviously the feds is tightening monetary policies to address it she said adding that we are in a global environment where there are significant risks and pressures but I really don't expect the United States to fall into recession According to Yen, Europe is more vulnerable and, of course, more exposed on the energy front more than the United States is. She also stressed that the global economic faces risk of a potential slowdown. And that's going to uh, happen as well, too, here in uh, North America with an uh, economic uh, slowdown, you know. Like I mentioned before, with gas prices going up like five dollars a gallon or something like that, or uh, higher barrel prices as well too, per gallon per barrel as well too, you know, and the uh, hyperinflation increasing with the uh, Dow Jones keep on having mixed reactions. Sometimes they have good days with the uh, Dow Jones and the Wall Street. And uh, S and P five hundred, and the Nasdaq, and all that you know, and then times when it, when they have like uh some they hear in the news, especially when it hits that's economically, and it hits, and the uh stock market crashes, you know, and it get it it get into the red, you know the red areas of uh decreasing, you know, cause you know like I mentioned in my previous videos, cause the uh, you know, with the uh, people that does stocks and bonds, the uh, uh, the wall, the people that walk, work in the uh, Wall Street industry, you know, because they uh, put money into the, into the economy as well, too. And with the stocks and bonds and these uh, big companies, these big CEOs and these uh, business owners of these companies, they put their stocks and bonds into these uh, of their companies. 
to see if they can raise their stock value up, you know, and they put money into the economy. The uh, Federal Reserve Feds, I believe, you know, they still uh, entice of the uh, interest heights and interest rates. They kind of feel, see if that can help the economy, keep on keeping the economy flowing. But since, uh, you know, the uh, U.S. Treasury, Janet Yen made that statement about, you know, the global, the global economy as well, too. Because the global economy around the world, you know, they affected with the uh, gas prices and the hyperinflation, you know. I believe over there in uh, India, they said like the weeks, wheat, something like that, was skyrocketed or something like that, or the value wasn't good. I'm not for sure about that article, but it goes to show you that it's affecting these uh, countries globally uh, currently right now as we speak since she made that warning, you know, and it's uh, not only is just affecting North America, it's affecting around the world as well too, globally, especially on the economic scale, you know, like I mentioned before, the uh, uh, hyperinflation, and there was a news article I read uh, from RT, and I looked at it and I highlighted it, it was saying like uh, the UK had like a 40-year uh, high of uh, inflation of prices, I think that's in history. That's a 40-year high, I believe, because, you know, over there as well, too, along with the Eastern European countries, um, they got hit with hyperinflation and the uh, the cost of living, the cost of food, prices continue to go up in the uh, housing market as well, too, especially over here in North America as well, too. So, you know, since she made that statement and that warning, because we are definitely living in that effect right now with the uh, uh, warning of the global economy, you know, because the economy of everything is going up, and especially with the hyperinflation is definitely keep on hitting these uh, countries globally around the world and North America as well, too, because you're seeing the constantly increase of the gas prices, the constantly increase of uh, food prices going up, and the constantly consistently of your uh, paying your bills you know, your light, gas, rent, your cell phone bills, you know, everything like we normally do in everyday society, you know, because, you know, because you know, we got to pay our bills when we lay our head at, you know, but, but the cost of living and all that, everything is constantly, consistently going up, you know, because we are already in that session right now, you know, after she made that uh, warning to uh, U.S. Treasury, Jenny Yen, you know, after she made that statement, because we are living in those times right now of a, a potentially uh, globally economic going to shrink and it's going to shrink furthermore. You know, if it keep on getting into that direction of uh, the hyperinflation and the cost of living, the food shortages, the high prices of foods and everything like that is going to increase more and more and more, you know. Uh, and so with that, I hope this is edifying in the news on this uh, May the 18th, 2022, on this um, Wednesday morning at 11.47 p. I mean, 11.47 a.m. Central Standard Time. And once again, I hope this lesson was edifying in the news article on May 18th, 2022. Through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Al Shai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to take Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And before I close out this uh, sit-down lesson uh, for today, on this May 18th, 2022, on this uh, Wednesday morning. So, yeah, you know, hey, the uh, global economy is going to continue to shrink, especially in the times that we are living in, especially with the continued increase of uh, hyperinflation and the cost of living and the food shortages. 
and the high prices of food costs us and high prices of gas and everything like that and many different things that's going up as well too you know because since she made that statement the u.s secretary uh, jenny yen hey we are already in that global shrink you know if it keep on entering that that the, the direction of uh, everything constantly consistently go up and the economy is going to shrink more and more and more not just only here in the united states around the world globally as well too because we are already in into that effect right now since she sent that warning we are already in a, a already in a global uh downhill you know as the global uh economy is shrinking right now as we speak you know so it's going to increase furthermore as long as you still got hyperinflations and the cost of living and food prices and gas prices that's constantly consistently going up you know so with that i would say shalom and the ball ball